this is a big mini. Now when I mean big, it's not just large, it's heavy. This is the heaviest, well it's not even a mini, it's probably a maxi. This is the biggest, heaviest uh, one at the whole Kickstarter set I'm assuming. It's moss beard. And just to, just to give you an idea of how much this actually weighs, or how heavy this is, look at this. Let's get you going. Okay, now we're looking at grams. Let's, can you see that? All right. This is coming in at what, 742 grams, which is, Uh, here we go 2262 ounces which is one pound ten ounces in total that's that's over a pound and a half of mini right so let's not waste any time let's get moss beard open let's get him open now look at the size of these pieces that's just one piece look at that that's absolutely massive Huge. Right. What else we got? Two. Right, I'm not even sure what bit that is. A couple of bits on sprues need to come off. Arms and legs and hands. Legs. Legs. Guess that's an arm. Not too many bits, big bits, but uh, let's get this stuck together. Finish up with ability stats and a name, and then explain why your hero has joined the campaign. Are you in it for the gold? Are you looking for fame? Either way, just get ready for an incredible game. C and D, the world's best RPG. Whether we're playing Pathfinder or 5e, this guy is huge. Look at him, massive. Now, it took a little bit longer to stick together than I thought. That was purely because of uh, gravity. I should have anticipated it, but the legs um, and the head were fine. They stuck together easily. But the arms here, just because the size on this one whole piece, the weight pulling down, um, I had to hold it in place quite tightly until it was completely dry. I had to put quite a bit of glue in as it as well. The same on this side, his fist going into his forearm and the shoulder. I had to hold those in place until they'd completely dried, um, which meant doing it off a camera and just holding it for like, 30, 40 seconds each, uh, minimum, before they dried into place. But, but let's have a look at him just spinning around. You can see that there's his face, staring down. Great detail, lovely uh, moss and vegetation around his legs, and his stomach across the back of his head and on his skull, down through his arm. And as you can see here on his back, he's got whole trees growing out the back. The moss continues, it you know, creeps around over his shoulders, down his back. Every time I look at this, I'm seeing more detail. Like, like just here, if you look at his fist, let's see if we can zoom in there on his fist. You can see the rings of the trees inside his fist there. That's, that's a great attention to detail. Again, you wouldn't have really noticed or cared if it had just been a continuation of the bark, but it, it's gone for the rings, that's brilliant. And down the side here, along his leg, you've got sort of a, some mushrooms growing out the side. A little vines growing up his leg. And again, inside his elbow patch here. Back round to the front again. Let's have a let's have a close up look at his face. Look at that! Isn't that ominous? Is his beard coming in for the side profile? It's the top of his head. And the tree on top of his head. This is a uh, hollow, which is great. I'm sure you could stick something in there or, or put whatever you're going for in there. And the, the idea is either to get him down or climb up him to get to, to retrain to get that piece out. Um, if you look at down at his back, you can see there's whole trees down his back. That's great. Now let's, uh, let's stick a piece in there so you can get some sort of perspective. Now this is your standard mini. Now look at that. Absolutely massive. Let's hold it. Let's move up against this foot there. You can just see how big he is. Now that's just even compared to let's say um, against a large mini. Look at that. That's the rock troll, that's the one you might be familiar with. He, he's pretty big, but in comparison to, uh, to the moss beard, he's, he's tiny. If you look, probably about the same sort of size as his fist. 
Look at that. Or the size of his head. Yeah, look, it's, it's pretty much the size of his head. Absolutely ginormous and great detail. Now what I've done with this guy is I haven't stuck him together at the waist. Now my reason for not doing that, or for doing that, is, uh, let's zoom in so you can see inside, it's just for, for moving him around in storage. You know, he's a big piece and putting him together, moving around is going to be pretty tricky, but he slots together nicely. There's no issues with him going together and moving him around in two pieces. But that's just for convenience, so I haven't completely stuck him together. Now he's hollow inside here, but his arms, his legs and his head are completely solid. Now hopefully that will slot back together nicely. There you go. And you can move him around, no problems at all. Now that is a fantastic piece. There we go, there's your moss beard. Uh, that was Moss Beard. If you enjoyed it, hit like. Uh, if you want to know anything, stick a, a note down in the comments and I'll, I'll answer it and I'll get back to you. Uh, if, if you want to see more, check out my videos. There's a whole bunch on there now. Um, there's a whole load more still to come. We've got the paint sets, we've got some of the expansion packs, the Dreadmere, the Underdark. If you want to be alerted for when they come out, uh, hit the bell and I'll see you in the rest of the videos. Take care. Bye bye.